Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We're going through uh, Joshua right now. Joshua, let me tell you, is a fascinating book. Um, there's several books I'm reading that I go that go along with the study of Joshua. And this one I've wanted to read for a while and am enjoying reading it by Alan Redpath called The Victorious Christian Living. Um, this I actually bought used someplace and it was actually given to somebody uh, in, in 1963. Okay, so this book has been around for a while. Um, and so anyway, um, Part of what we're talking about today actually comes from a chapter in this book. Why the wait? And that's, uh, we answered uh, the first uh, segment of that yesterday. The first reason was why God told them to wait for three days was because there was a soul to be saved. The second reason I'm going to give you today is this. There was a, there was a separation to be confirmed. All right. So you're going, oh, who wanted to be separated? Well, let's read here and you will find out. This is, takes place in Joshua chapter 1, verses 10 through 18. Joshua chapter 1, verses 10 through 18. So let me go back uh, to that. Before this happened, you will remember they're coming, as we finished um, the book of Deuteronomy, uh, you know, the book before here. As we finished the book of Deuteronomy, they had come right to the, you know, the side, this side of the, Jordan River okay so this is a picture of the Jordan River and then we got the promised land behind us and we got the mountains and the and the hills and everything this is the promised land that they were going into but everything so far that we're talking about is taking place on this side of the river they have not crossed the Jordan River Joshua has said in three days we're gonna cross that Jordan River but nothing has happened before that however at the end of Deuteronomy as they come to this part there's Two and a half tribes that go, you know what? This land here looks pretty good. It's part of the wilderness. But he said, they say, this land looks pretty good. We'd like to have this land and not go in and take the other land. And Moses says, are you really sure you want to do that? You know, this is, we're going into the promised land, which is like the ultimate of land. Uh, but you want to stay here in the wilderness and uh, do that. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we want to do that. Okay, And, and so uh, Moses says... I will allow that to happen, even though I'm not happy about it, but I will allow that to happen. But only your children and your animals and stuff can stay here, while the rest of you are going to go and be on the front line and fight as, as the rest of Israel, the nation of Israel goes into the promised land. Okay, And so that was the deal that Moses made there. Now you are going to see that Joshua is in these verses that we're going to read here. Joshua is going to confirm that okay sometimes you'll run across someone doing something and they're doing something stupid all right and you go are you, you sure you really want to do that you know yeah you, know, you you're so, you get you're with someone and they've been drinking a lot and they're choosing to um, drink uh, some more beers okay and you go are you sure you really want to do that and they're like oh yeah yeah I'm sure I want to you know have five more beers and you're like Okay, and so you're confirming that you're confirming uh, that and so even though it's not the best decision you're confirming that and that's what Joshua is doing here. This is taken today from Joshua chapter 1 verses 10 through 18 and this Joshua is basically saying the same thing Moses said earlier on, but he's just confirming it. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people go throughout the camp and tell the people get your provisions ready three days from now. Uh, you will cross the Jordan here and go in and take possession of the land the Lord your God has given you to own. But to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, okay, so those are the two and a half tribes, uh, Joshua said, Remember the command that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you after he said, The Lord your God will give you rest by giving you this land. Your wives and your children and your livestock may stay in the land, that Moses gave you east of the Jordan, but all your fighting men ready for battle must cross over ahead of your fellow Israelites. You are to help them until the Lord gives them rest, as he has done for you, and until they have, too have taken possession of the land the Lord, that the Lord your God is giving, back, giving them. After that, you may go back and occupy your own land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you east of the Jordan toward the sunrise. Then they answered, Joshua, Whatever you have commanded us, we will do, and whatever you send us, we will go. Just as we fully obeyed Moses, so we will obey you. 
Only may the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your word and does not obey it, whatever you may command them, will be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. Okay? So I, I go back to why we are doing this episode. And it is dealing with the question, why the wait? Of why the, the waiting for three days? And that gave time for Joshua to uh, confirm this separation that was going to happen. Okay? These uh, two and a half tribes were, con were saying, they had said earlier, and now Joshua is confirming, are you sure you want to do this? You want to have your people stay here in the, the wilderness, not the promised land, but in the wilderness, and you go ahead and go fight, and then you're going to come back here. And the people, those two and a half tribes said, yep, yep, that's what we want to do. Okay. Um, so you're going to, you're going to run across people like that, that they are doing something foolish. They're doing something that God does not intend. Okay. You might r run across someone and um, they're choosing to live together uh, before uh, and, and, and be in sexual relations before they're married. And you're going, that's not a great idea. Are you sure you want to do that? And they're like, yep, yep, that's what I want to do, you know. And um, you can't say God has told me to do that. Um, but they are choosing to do that. And so, um, you know, that's, and so Joshua is confirming uh, <laughs> their choice that they, they are made. God is a God of, of giving us a free will. We have a free will. We can choose to sin or not to sin, but he, he has given us um, that free will to, to choose to sin. And, um, and so that's what happens here. These guys are exercising de their free will and they're going out, uh, really out of the will of God. The, the will of God was for everyone to go into the promised land, but they're choosing, we're going to go and um, go outside the will of God. Okay. You're going to see as we go on in, through the next uh, years here, as we go on through the Old Testament, that this does not play out well for them. Okay, when they get into the promised land, they are always the first ones that get attacked. They are always the first ones to fall into sin. And you will see that these are the that this these two and a half tribes will be the first to like just disappear. Okay, um, to be conquered and so forth. And because because they they chose to do this and and they chose to kind of set themselves up in this way. Um, and so it ended up being, you know, a big failure on their part. But God is a God that gives us a free will. All right. Let me pray with you. Lord God, I thank you for this time we can gather together. I thank you that you have given us a free will. But I ask that we would be people that would choose you and choose your way and choose your will over the foolish things that we want to do. Lord God, guide us and, and uh, give us wisdom. Thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hey, I'm a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we uh, conclude this little section of Why the Wait. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow.